Yes, uh, just going to be running through a quick guide today on how to set up a session open group server. We also call it the SOGS uh, for short as well. Uh, so there's a little guide online, a written guide here that I'll link in the description that you can follow along um, with me for, but I'll be trying to do this on, uh, on video as well um, and trying to simulate the, the environment that you most, might most commonly use. Um, so just before we start, uh, a SOGS is essentially a um, open group server which can be joined in session, um, which allows you to chat with a whole bunch of people. Um, large groups, um, you know, you can see here the Loki Net group that we run officially has um, about 1,400 members and the session group, which is a little bit bigger, has about 4,000 members. So they allow really big, um, really big chats. Um, to occur and they also have a URL which is hosted on the clear net. So I just copied that out and you can see the URL here. If I go back to the IP address, um, you can see that the rooms that it's hosting. Um, so this one's essentially ho hosting five different rooms which appear as five different channels um, in the session chat here. So if you want to have an open group server which has multiple different uh, topics of discussion, that's possible as well. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need to do is to grab um, a VPS. Um, you can use your own home server as well, um, but for most people, uh, VPS is going to be the best option because it has a, a fairly good internet connection and it's going to be always online and not subject to your um, local internet going down. So I'm, I'm just on DigitalOcean here, but there's a bunch of different VPS providers that you can use, some that you can pay for in cryptocurrency as well. Um, you know, Hetzner, Scaleway, um, DigitalOcean obviously, Linode, there's just a massive selection out there of different VPS providers you can go to. Um, so typically like the cheapest tier is going to be okay here, so I'm just going for the uh, $5 a month VPS here, but the um, stats here with, that we recommend are one virtual core and 512 uh, megabytes of RAM and 20 gig of hard drive space just so you have enough to store the messages. Um, so I'm just going to get the cheapest one here. Um, the zone doesn't really matter that much because you'll be onion routing all of the messages that you retrieve and store on the session open group server. Um, but you know, if you choose in Germany where most of the service nodes are, that could provide a slightly faster link. It just depends what the last hop um, path is. I'm just going to choose Germany for this one, but you can really choose any area here. Um, I've added my SSH keys, you can choose to use a password as well, just make sure it's long and secure. Um, and I'm not going to enable any of this other stuff, I'm just going to call it the testing uh, salts server. Um, cool, um, and I'll create that droplet. What I'm hoping for it to give me here is an IP address, a public IP address, um, once it creates the server here. Um, and I'll use that public uh, IP address to SSH into the machine, um, add some repositories, and then configure uh, my room setup as well. Basically, the, the um, different steps are outlined in this guide here, so you can follow along with that at your own pace as well. So you can see it's almost set up here. Um, just waiting for DigitalOcean to finish the final part. Cool, it's given me an IP address. I'm just gonna copy that. I'm going to open an SSH client, so um, this will depend on what operating system you're using. I'm just using Windows here, so it's uh, Putty is a fairly good SSH client. If you're using Ubuntu, you can just do it from the command line, and same with Mac, but they have some graphical um, clients here. I'm just going to specify my uh, SSH key. Um, it's asking if I want to trust the server for the first time, because this is the first time it's seen this key. I'll log in as root. Uh, and then I'm going to type in either your password or your SSH key password here to decrypt and sign. Um, so yeah, I just have a fresh VPS here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is run the commands to add the Oxen um, app repository. So just going to copy those in and right click to paste. We'll add that uh, GPG key. Uh, and then we're going to run this command, basically just telling um, which repository we want to fetch based on our distribution that we're running. Oh, that's the other thing that I mentioned, I should have mentioned. Um, if you have a choice to choose your operating system, choose the latest um, Ubuntu or Debian release because those are the ones that we support right now. So right now it's Ubuntu 20.04 and I think 
Debbie and Eleven. I've got no idea on that one. You have to check that one yourself. But the latest um, Debian release and latest Ubuntu release we usually support. Um, and then I'm just going to sudo apt update. Let me grab that command again. Uh, I'm just copying and then right clicking basically um, in the uh, SSH window. This is basically a remote connection to the VPS that we just created before. Um, cool. And then we're going to install. Um, either we're going to install the SOGS standalone package or the SOGS proxy package. For most people, you're going to want to go with the SOGS, the SOGS standalone package. Um, this is basically the easiest way to configure um, the session open group server, especially if you have a, um, well, I guess we could call it a VPS with any without any um, like content being hosted on it. Um, the SOGS is just like the SOGS standalone will set up a web server for you and serve um, what needs to be served. If you are using a VPS that's hosting a bunch of different things, um, you can actually do a reverse proxy. Um, and not everyone's going to understand what this means, but you can reverse proxy um, SOGS uh, through Nginx to be hosted on a particular port or hosted at a particular domain. Um, so there's some more instructions. Um, on the, in the actual SOGS repo on how to do that, but for most people you're going to want to go with the standalone. Um, so we're going to copy that in. Um, we're going to go yes here. It's going to install a bunch of uh, different packages uh, for us to be able to run SOGS. SOGS is a, a Python um, application, so it's a bunch of little dependencies that it's um, getting right now. Um, we can scroll down to the next list. So this is basically, um, once the SOGS is installed, you'll be able to um, add different rooms. Um, so we can just go through this now while the SOGS is installing, actually. And I find the best way to do this is to take the example commands out into a notepad um, and edit what you'd like, um, the, your first room that you want to add to be. Um, and I'll just check if this is done. Okay, so now it's asking uh, for what the URL of my SOGS is. So at this point, if you have a domain name um, that you've bought, you can map that to your IP address using your um, domain name provider. Usually they'll have a setting where you can um, like map DNS uh, so that you can you know, you point that domain name that you bought towards a particular IP address. So if you point that towards the VPS IP address here, um, then you can map that domain to the IP address. You, it's, not re, it's not a requirement though, you can just use the raw IP address, which I'll be doing today. Um, SOGS doesn't need HTTPS uh, to work, it can work on HTTP and all of the um, connections remain encrypted because we're actually uh, sharing the public key of the se uh, session open group server um, out of band. So we already have the authentication methods and encryption methods built in, so you don't actually need HTTPS. So I'm just going to paste the IP address in here and go OK. And if you were using a domain name, you'd paste the domain name in here. Um, it's got some instructions up here if you get a little confused. Um, we'll go OK. That's going to continue that. We'll go back to our other step, which is basically um, looking at the first room we want to add. So here um, you'll have the token, which is essentially um, it's the name of the group that's used in the URL. Um, for people to join the new group. So for example, I'm just going to put fish in here because my group is going to be, and this is the name that actually appears in the session client, so the Loki net name here. Um, I'm going to put in like fishing Australia and put the space there, and then I'm going to put like this chat is about fishing. You don't need to put a description in. We don't currently use it in the session client, but it's probably something that we will use in the future. So you can see now um, SOGS is finished installing here um, and we're going to add a room. So basically I just took that command that I added here, copied it and we'll paste it in. Uh, and this should add our first room. And you can see it's created the fish room um, of Fishing Australia. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves an administrator as well of that group. Um, or sorry, that room, um, which will give us the ability to delete messages um, from that room and also um, ban users. There's a bunch more administrative functions as well. So same thing here, I'm just gonna paste this below so I can edit it. Um, so we will do, so this is actually going to add us to all rooms, I believe, yep. So this is the best one if you wanna be an administrator in all of the rooms on your session open group server, which is likely. Um, if you're running your own open group server, you probably wanna be um, 
the moderator of all of the all of the rooms. So I have a session ID here. This is my session ID. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste that into where we have session ID listed here. Um, grab that, copy that, and then run that on the server. And just click enter there. And you can see it's added me as administrator to that, uh, as a global administrator here. So I've got administrative status on all of the room, future rooms that I create. Um, so now um, we can go about joining your SOG. So if you go to the IP address that you had before, and you just copy it, and you paste this into a browser, what you should see is you should see a kind of default uh, web page hosted um, on, H on the HTTP endpoint. So you can see we have the phishing room here. And if we click into the phishing room, we will get a handy link here which lists the public key as well. So if we copy that, and we take that into the session client and go to join an open group, and it's a little bit different in every um, chat, every application, how that works. but. Uh, for the open groups, just join open group. For the mobile apps, there's a plus button and you should see a little world icon which says open group and you can join it that way. So if I click next here, basically we should connect up and we see we're connected to Phishing Australia and we can type a test message in here and just see, confirm that it goes through and that's going through. Um, and then we should also see that we're an administrator. So we should be able to, um, for example, edit the group. So this is where we can add a profile image for the group um, that shows up. Uh, and we also have additional administrative functions like banning the user, inviting contacts, removing moderators, adding other moderators. So if you want someone else to moderate um, your channel, you can add them, just specify their session ID here, or if they chat, you can right click them and then go add administrator. You also notice in the web client, um, well, web client is a bit of an over-exaggeration here. It's basically just a viewer at this point. Um, but you can see the messages that people have posted in your channels. And any new rooms will be listed under here as well. Um, so yeah, that's it's, it's pretty simple to um, set up a session open group server. And when you're done, you can just exit straight out of this and everything will keep running. Um, there's also should be some instructions on how to update as well. Uh, those might be in a different guide, but basically, um, if you just do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade, uh, you should get the most recent um, SOGS updates in that as well. Or you can specifically request an update um, for it as well if you know there's been a new one that's published. So yeah, that should about wrap the session open group server guide. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any further questions um, and I'll answer those. But yeah, pretty simple setup and I hope to see um, lots more community members and communities migrating onto session. Um, so yeah, hope to see you there. Thanks guys.